trigger shot time, nine o'clock. So it's time now to take the last injection, which is gonna release everything ready for Wednesday. Ready? Um, press the end and hold it. I've got to hold it in the center. Hold it, yeah, hold it in until it goes down to zero and then hold it. 10 seconds. I don't know when. Yeah. So today is the day. I don't know what the date is. Twenty seventh. 27th of April and it is egg retrieval day so we're really excited we're just about to leave the house now it's about seven o'clock five to seven um so yeah we're gonna go on our way go to the clinic so I just need to get a little stick for the doggy so we've got to be there at quarter past eight um and the procedure is at nine um, but the clinic, oh god, the clinic is over an hour away for us, so we're leaving at seven to make sure that we get there for quarter past eight, just in case of traffic. So it's a nice early morning, but I'm glad it's being done in the morning, so I'm not sat around waiting, nervous slash excited for it to be done. <clears throat> so we're just going to leave the house now. Just gonna... And then we'll see you in a bit. Ready now. <laughs> Just waiting for the anaesthetist to come and speak to me. I've seen the consultant who's doing the procedure. But just waiting for the anaesthetist to come and tell me what's going to be happening. And then I'll be going in to see you. out of the 19 follicles so good news just gonna have a coffee now and then on to recovery so excuse this mess um but we've just had a call from the embryologist thank you darling oh. <laughs> We've just had a call from the embryologist. Um, so the last call that we had, we were told that... <sighs> what <was he> doing? <laughs> we were told that there were seven out of the ten eggs that were fertilised. And we've just been told that all seven have um, progressed to a blastocyst stage. Um, so they're all doing well um they sort of grade them at this point in terms of their growth and development and how well they've progressed um we've got one that is below average so we've got a little straggler um but it's still got to the stage that they need it to it's just not the strongest then we've got four that are what they called average so just where they'd expect to see them um and then we've got two strong above average eggs um that are doing really well um so we have been told our appointment now we've got to go back tomorrow at 11 we have to be there half an hour early but the transfer is going to be at 11 a.m so hopefully the two that are doing well by tomorrow should be really good in their grading so apparently quite a lot happened from today until tomorrow um so within the next 24 hours and then when we go there in the morning, they regrade them and they give them a grade. I think it's A to F, um, A being the strongest, F being the weakest. So hopefully we've got at least one egg that's A or B 
um, and is really strong for us to be able to use for the transfer. So, yeah, we just had that exciting news. Um, I'm not feeling great. The past couple of days, I've just been feeling really bloated, in quite a bit of pain, feeling sick, um, tired, breathless. So I'm currently in bed. Um, it's Sunday. Tomorrow's the bank holiday. So I'm just giving myself to today just to rest and relax which is why I'm currently in this state, still in bed. But yeah, brilliant news for today and we're both really excited for tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you then. Good morning. It is, I don't know what day it is, 2nd of May. 2nd of May? Um, and we're just driving on our way now. We left at about nine o'clock. We've got our appointment at 11. Um, we've got to be there at half past 10. I think they go through all the grades of the eggs, our options aftercare stuff like that so we've got to be there early um, but we are currently on our way and not far away from the clinic um, yeah just sort of update you so we're basically driving to get pregnant and we were just saying how mad it is that we're going to be driving back technically pregnant whether it sticks or not we'll have to wait and see but fingers crossed so yeah hopefully this morning goes well um, we presume that we've definitely got one egg that's um, okay for transfer because we've already had documents uploaded on the portal about aftercare and when we need to do the pregnancy test and diet and things to avoid, stuff like that. So I presume they've uploaded that because they know that we've got an egg at least that's okay to put in, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to be really disappointed now if that was just an automatic upload and we get there and they're like, sorry, we've got no eggs, but we'll have to wait and see. We had seven could have potentially been okay so hopefully there's at least one out of that ready but yeah not long to go so i'll update you afterwards so we've just come out procedure is done um it didn't take that long we've got um so we had seven eggs that had like reached a certain stage when we had the call yesterday and then today we found out that there was two A's, so they're graded from A to F, A being the best, F being the worst, um, and we had two A's, two C's, two E's, were there two E's? Uh, yes. Two E's and an F, no, no there was two, two, what? Two A's? Two A's, two C's, two E's, no. C's. There wasn't an F though? There was two D's, two D's and an E. Two D's and an E. Two D's and an E. Okay, so we had two A's, two C's, two D's and an E. Um, a little lonely poor E. Um, so we've had one A put back in, so they put the best one back in for the fresh transfer. Um, so we've had an A put in, and then we get to freeze the A and the two C's. Um, and then the others aren't suitable for freezing. Um, I think the two D's, I think she's leaving them until tomorrow. Because the E, she said that she was just gonna, it's no good. She doesn't think that that's gonna progress anymore. But she didn't say anything about the D's and I think she keeps them for another day or two to see if they progress anymore. And then if they do get better, then I think we can freeze them. Um, so we may have more, we may not, but we've got three to freeze anyway, one A, two C's, which is really good. So at least we've got options. Um, but it was a bit of a roller coaster when we got in there. So as you know, I was ill the past couple of days. So I've just been having like cramping, been feeling like really bloated, quite tender to the touch. Um, keep having waves of like feeling sick and being okay. Um, and the nurse came in and said that it could be over stimulation, hyper stimulation, um, which by the symptoms she was sort of diagnosing me with anyway. Um, and she was recommending not to go ahead with it um, because there's risks to me. You can get quite ill from it, end up in the hospital and all blood thinners and everything. So she was recommending not to go ahead with the treatment today freeze all four embryos and then have it done down the line but if we were to go for it again um, we'd have to wait for me to have my period which can take a while because of obviously all the hormones and everything at the minute then we'd have to go back on injections for a week then wait until my next period um, 
and then start doing pessaries and everything and have it transferred on day five again. So it would be another good couple of months, more injections, more everything before we could have it transferred. So it was really upsetting to hear that. Um, and at one point I did think that it wasn't going to happen. Um, but they took me through for a scan just to see and double check and the scan did show signs of hyperstimulation. Um, my ovaries were enlarged, there was free fluid around them so I've got a mild form of hyperstimulation but it's not that bad where she was completely advising against it. Um, so we said that we were happy to take the risk. Um, there's no risk for the baby, um, there's only a risk that I might get more ill um, and just end up on medication or hospitalised, potentially worst case scenario, but we said that we were happy to take the risk, bear in mind on her medical judgement, the results of the scan. Um, so we were luckily enough, after an absolute whirlwind of emotions, um, still able to go ahead with the transfer, which was really good. Um, so we're just on the way back now. Bank holiday, so we just get to chill for the rest of the day, um, and then that's it. Now it's going to feel really weird because we're not, we haven't got to do any scans, we've not got any updates or anything like that until two weeks, um, and then we take a pregnancy and at home pregnancy test in two weeks to see what the result is. So it's going to feel like a really long two weeks. One because we're waiting for the result, and also because we've got no appointments, which is going to feel really weird. Um, but yeah, so other than that, that's my last update and. We'll see how the next two weeks progress. So I'll see you soon. So after the transfer day, it was a long two week wait. So everyone who is starting to try and conceive and has gone down the route of researching anything, TWW, the two week wait is something that everyone goes on about. It is the longest two weeks of your life. Um, and it was tough, <laughs> it was tough. And I think this two weeks more than any other month because knowing what we'd been through up until this point, knowing how much was riding on it and as much as you try not to put pressure on yourself and you try to be chill and what will be will be, it was a rough two weeks. But nonetheless, after two weeks, I took the pregnancy test. Not one, I took three, I had to be sure. Um, and I think everyone's been there, that you know, seeing one just simply isn't enough. So yeah, two weeks came around, test day came around and I took the test. All right, I've got to be quick. So technically tomorrow is the day that we should be testing. That's the day we've been given by the clinic, but I really want to surprise Dan, so if I got up tomorrow and did it, he'd know and he'd want to do it with me. So it's currently Saturday, I'm going to do it today and hopefully it's not too early, it's only a day. Um, but you just took Herbie out on a dog walk, so I've got to be quick. Um, I got up this morning and did my first wee and saved it in a pot. So I'm just going to take the test now. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. So, 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 so nervous. So I'm going to do three tests. I've got just a little Amazon Home Cheeky. I've got a first response and I've got a clear blue. So I'm going to do those. And we're pregnant. It was successful. It was still a little bit unnerving at this point. Uh, once we found out we were in a bit of disbelief still. And I think until we'd been and seen the clinic and they'd confirmed things, um, it's a really it's really hard emotionally, but you want to get excited. It was the first ever positive pregnancy test that I'd seen. We were absolutely over the moon, but you're still slightly reserved knowing that so many things, especially through IVF in terms of hormones and things, can create a positive test um, also it could show a positive test but then over the coming weeks you know your hormones might drop um, so emotionally I think it was the most draining part of the whole process because 
you just want to be ecstatic and over the moon and believe it but there's just always that reservation in your mind but we stayed positive we stayed hopeful we tried to enjoy it and revel in it as much as we could and then it was a, another two weeks later that we were booked in for a six week scan at the six week scan it was another internal scan and they checked that the that everything was okay everything looked okay everything was in the right place and um, making sure that it had implanted in the correct place um, and hopefully to see a heartbeat so we went to the scan um, had the scan we saw the heartbeat The nurse said that everything looked brilliant, everything was perfect um, and yeah it was a good day, it was a good scan and it was so reassuring to see the heartbeat. Um, she measured it so we could like figure out a due date. Um, so at the point of the scan um, I was six, week, um, six weeks and five days and the scan measured exactly six weeks and five days so that again was all really reassuring knowing that gestationally it's growing at the correct size um, and seeing the little flutter on this on the screen of the heartbeat was absolutely fantastic so at that point we again were just released into the world um, they were happy with everything from their point of view and basically said you're back in the NHS's hand, they've done their job, um, it was brilliant news, a fantastic result and our next step was to go back to the NHS so I had to ring the doctors, make an appointment to see the doctor and say that we needed a referral to a midwife. We see the midwife for our first appointment between 8 to 10 weeks and then they book you in for your 12 week scan so I'm currently eight weeks and three days when filming this and yeah I haven't heard off them yet but I've still got a little while so I'm hoping that I'll hear off the midwives in the next week or so so that we can get the first appointment booked in which we're so so excited for that we're so excited to be back in the normal hands and the root of this journey but yeah the whole process I think was handled amazingly well our fertility clinic was fantastic um, and overall I think as far as the journey can be nice um, we had a pleasant experience it's never a nice thing to go through um, it's emotionally draining it's physically draining it, it takes up so much of your life there's so many appointments so many blood tests um, that it's really hard not to think about it or let it take over your life or consume your energy because it's a very demanding process to go through but I think everyone that's going to go through it or going through it now knows that it's it's gonna be worth it it will be worth it so I'm so so happy to say that yes it happened it was successful and now we're just waiting to hear back off the midwives so that we can be seen by them everything at the minute still seems to be good and happy um, I feel okay myself, I've had a few symptoms like being really tired, really nauseous but just so so happy, so joyful, so excited, um, so yeah it's a, a great great result. That's it now, just waiting to hear off the midwives and then we'll be booked in for our appointment and then have our 12 week scan. So we had a six week scan not so long ago um, and showing our family and stuff the scan pictures and my sister very very kindly came round and said she had a gift for us um, so she's actually bought us a load of stuff so it's the first things for baby and I really want to show you what we've got so she's packed it all in this massive box um, and I'm just going to pull everything out and show you what she's bought so first she's just wrote us a card with things inside so that was a lovely little message off her and then we've got a gender reveal balloon we're not 
really into gender reveals um so we're not going to be having a party for us to find out we're going to find out at the scan um but she had a good idea that we could tell our family this way so it's sort of a little surprise for them this was actually for dan's birthday um that she bought but i thought i'd show it so it just says my daddy is the best so you got that for his birthday and then everything else in here was bought as a gift so we've got this which i think is just the most do you know i think everyone with a baby has this it's the jelly cat um little bunny so we have that i'll go through all the little teddy bits first we've got a little swan which is a rattle that's really cute so pretty then we've got this little baby deer I'm really into like the woodland foresty sort of pieces and animals so this will go really well in the room and then because sloths are my favourite animal she's got a little sloth teddy as well which is adorable <laughs> um, and then other little bits we've got some little blocks which are good for baby to start and hold um, and also we'll just put them out as decorations so we've got a whole little bag of those and we've got these little cups so you can take them out and then they stack on top of each other so you can build them so again I'll just go get this decoration in the room to start with um, but then we'll be good to play with afterwards and then we don't know yet if we're having a girl or a boy so she's just bought them in both options um, but we've got these little like bonnet hats which again are just so cute so they just sort of like tie underneath the chin and we've got them in that one was pink we've got a navy blue one and a more sandy creamy coloured one now on to all the little cutie little onesies and things so we've got this one it's like cream with brown stripes in long sleeved with the scratch mitts attached and also with feet in then we've got another long sleeve but short legged brown with black dots this one which is like cream with little pinky red hearts on that one comes as a set and it's got the matching leggings we have this one Love is our power, which again is long sleeved, short legged. That also comes as a set, and it's just got these with a little badge on. Little leggings. Here we've got long leg with feet and arms, and it's got like little hedgehogs and leaves and stuff. That one's cute. Then we've got this one from the same set, which says sleep tight. We've got this cream little cardigan and we've got this sage green little cardigan. A two pack of leggings, one's white and one's grey. Then we've got some little trousers in a set with a little bodysuit and they're just black and white striped. Then here we've got a little sage green one and it says loved by everyone this is like a really nice ribbed material that's cute then we've got this one which just says happy on it and that's like a beige colour with the sage green writing on it and then this one which says I love hugs and it's in a like brown mauvey colour and then she just got us a pack of white sleep suits Again, they've got like the scratch mitts attached and little feet in them. So we've got one, two, three, four of those. And that's everything. So she bought so much. Um, we've got so much stuff to, towards the little bubba already. Um, these were in, I think they're all in naught to three months. It's really, really lovely of her to get them and Honest God, when I opened it, I was just blown away. One with like how much stuff she bought, but then just also how cute everything is. We've not bought anything for baby yet. We've done absolutely no shopping 
not done one purchase like at all um so it's really cute to have these little things in oh so cute um but yeah if you're watching this stuff thank you very very much for everything that you bought us we absolutely love everything and it was very kind of you to do that so thank you but yeah i'm gonna carry on now i just had to pop back on and show you who is next to me <laughs> He doesn't leave my side. <laughs> yeah, he just stays by me. <laughs> <laughs> 